uh, we're looking forward to the you know to the final four and uh, and hopefully putting our best foot forward and winning this thing. So Randy, um, this is your first time back to the state championship since 2006, and uh, you were part of the team in 2004. What's it mean to return there? Um, you know this year. Yeah, it's a it's a very special event for us. You know, uh, this is a place that we we feel that uh, this program belongs, and uh, we're very excited about the opportunity to be playing for a, a state championship. Uh, it's been a little while, but but we're we're definitely uh, excited about getting back. I just talk talk about what are your like what are you kind of looking forward to down at the state. Um, you know, maybe the, the, the whole environment. Really, we're looking forward to the environment. Uh, the final four is is a spe is a special time uh, and a, a special uh, event for these girls. That's something that they come to Cypress for uh, is to play in this, to, to participate in the final four, and uh, they're quite deserving of it. Um, we we just want them to enjoy all of it, and obviously we're there for business. We're there to uh, win the semi, and then obviously uh, win the state championship. Um, eventually, uh, but you know, they, I do want them to uh, enjoy the moment. Uh, this is something that's very special, and, and not everybody gets to participate this year, as opposed to the past few, to kind of get over that hump. Honestly, we we've uh, we haven't lost uh, in in the postseason since 2000, and uh, that would be six in the final. Uh, we we've tied the second regional semifinal four years in a row, and, and we just we just weren't weren't sharp enough in PKs. And at the end of the day, we weren't. We just didn't find that goal to kind of put us over the hump during regulation. MPK is a little bit unlucky, maybe just not good enough at times. But uh, you know what? 2011, this this team is, is is kind of persevered. They've had a lot of adversity, and they found a way through it, and and they found a way through again in the in the regional final. What about the other three teams? Uh, they're all going to be good. I mean, once you get to the final four, I mean, you're you're dealing with uh, four great teams, uh, all deserving of being there. All have uh, gone through, I'm sure, ups and downs a little bit throughout the season, and. Uh, at the end of the day, they were able to get it done in the matches that that they needed to get it done. Think about this year's team; it didn't start. Things didn't start off maybe the way you would like, and then how the how the team progressed and where they're at right now. Uh, de we definitely have matured quite a bit throughout the season. Um, I think we've kind of figured everybody out. Everybody's found a way to uh, play with each other on the field and, and kind of understand each other on and off the field a little bit. Coaching staff has a better grasp for uh, for all the players individually and as a team. Tell me about some of these sophomores. Um, they kind of came up big in the playoffs. Jackie had that big game. Yeah. Stephanie had a huge game yeah. on, uh, against uh, San Bernardino Valley. Yeah. Um, honestly, uh, it's been a great group. A great group. Uh, they've really become great leaders as the season's progressed, and uh, they bought into what the coaching staff has put in front of them, and uh, that's why I think they've been very successful. Um, they're also great, great players, uh, so we can't take that away from them as well, and they've stepped up big when we needed them. And who's your MVP on this team? Uh, the team as a whole is outstanding. Dude, let me let me be honest. If I had to put my finger on one, which would be tough to do, to be honest, uh, but I mean, a couple girls come you know, come to mind. I mean, you got it. You got Megan Aller, uh, you know, outside half. You got our center back Anissa Maram. Uh, our goalkeeper's been outstanding. I mean, honestly, I don't know if I can put my finger on one. Sam Rice has been has been huge for us, um, and, and also we we've, we've had some really good forward play at times. So. I mean, it, I couldn't put my finger on one, but those players that I mentioned definitely would come to the forefront of my mind. But honestly, this team, you know, you, you can look at the last game. Stephanie you know, Villasenor just stepped up huge for us you know, in the closing minutes. And I mean, this team it always just seems to find someone that steps up on that day. So. I started this program. This is the 20th anniversary. You were part of the 2004. What's it mean to kind of get back there? It, it, it really means a lot. Honestly, uh, Ray, Ray, I mean, built a phenomenal program. We've, we've tried our, our darndest to try and uh, mirror what he does. Obviously it's, obviously, it's almost impossible to do exactly what he did. I mean, he was outstanding in almost perfect year in and year out. But we feel we, we've maintained a level of excellence, though. Uh, we've been to, uh, I want to say this, let's see, 05, since 04, 05, 06, and then now back in, in 2011. You know, we, we've been to some Final Fours as well, so we have some experience on the staff. But Ray Haas, I mean, he, he taught us how to uh, win and, and be part of a winning tradition and program. And he built, uh, as far as I'm concerned, the best junior college program in the country. Uh, and we're just trying to do our best to, to maintain what he's done.